Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will show you how you can easily create a before after image slider in WordPress through our WordPress plugin, which we called PF. So, let's get started. First of all, once you are logged in to the WordPress dashboard, go to Plugins, search Before After. Then, you click Install and activate. So, that's it. After that, you go to our PF tab, click Add New, add a title. By default, as you know, the Before After Image slider consists of two images for comparison. So, in the free version, we added two image option, but in the pro version, we have also included the option to use one image for comparison. For example, if we go to our demo, here you can see our two image previews. And here you can see the single image comparison preview. So here we have the grayscale effect, blur effect, saturate effect, sepia effect. Anyway, as this video is for the free version, I will skip the pro version talk for now and show you how to create a slider tutorial. So, you need to click the before image button. Go to WordPress media library. Select an image from your computer. Let it upload and add it on before part. Similarly, add the after image. Upload and select. Now, we have also added the option to add title, description, a read more link. These are all optional. You can add content or you can skip. For this tutorial, let's skip it. Here you have the orientational style. You can show a slider in horizontal mode or vertical mode. I am selecting horizontal mode. Now finally, the template style. The default style is free. We have seven other styles on the pro version. For example, this is the default style. And these are all the pro styles. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So these seven are part of the pro styles. Now let's go to the options. The options lets you change the label, before and after. Let's add summer and spring. Auto slide is part of the pro. The rest of the option, whatever you want to add. Now onto the style. Let's just publish with the default setup. Now you will see there is a short code generated. If you click it, the short code will be copied. Now if you go to add new page, Let's name it before after example page. Let's add a text. So here you can see our before and after slider. So now I paste the short code. I publish it. So if I view the page, there you go. Before after slider is now published. That's basically it. You can see the summer and spring everywhere. Now let me show you the style options. Let me split the screen. If we go to the style, this label background is basically the background of this area and the text color is the color of the text. Let's add some colors. 
Now, if we reload, we should see colors. Just a sec. Possibly a catch issue. Sorry, there was a minor glitch on the plugin. Now, let's do the color change again. Now, if we reload, there we go, the color has changed. This is basically everything. Apart from that, let's show you some titles and description items. Let me add title, description, add an URL. And update. Now if we reload, you can see the title, description, and read more links. On the style part, let's play with the option again. See change font, color, alignment, etc. Let's do it for all of them. Let's do these for title, description, and read more. Now let's publish. If we reload, there you go. Everything is centered. On the pro version of this plugin, we have some features, which I thought I should share with you. Now as we have now installed our Pro version, let's go to our slider. On the Pro, we have a read more text. We can change it to learn more. Let's try with style and let's make it vertical. Now if you reload, the style has changed and it's now vertical. And on the Pro, we have auto slider. Let's turn it to yes. Publish. There you go. And on the style option, we have width and height options. Let's add some numbers. Now, as you can see, the height has changed. We can also align the slider here. Let's select the center. Wait, let me change the theme installing Astra. Now, you can see it's 100%, but with this, we can't see 100%. Let's reduce the width. Now it should be fine. There you go. So that's it. We also have a gallery generator and filterable gallery that is covered on a separate video. See the description. Thank you for checking. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions.